Last Thursday, young police constable Clifford Yembiningi was stabbed at Gordon's Market. He died later at the Port Mosby General Hospital. While investigations into his death continue, police already have a suspect behind bars. According to police reports, the late officer was stabbed by a drunken man while he was trying to get on a PMV back to Bomana Police College. Today, Yanguru Sausia MP and Minister for Trade, Commerce and Industry, Richard Maru, condemned the killing of the officer. Mr. Maru said the Gordon's market must be shut down permanently. We cannot continue to lose lives at Gordon's market because of thugs that operate there and make their living. As a responsible government, I call on the governor and the government to support my call and the police union and the police hierarchy to support my call and the call of the Yango Sasa people for this market now to be permanently closed. Gordon's market being a major market in the city has been supporting a large informal sector population for years. However, it is also home to petty criminals of the city. Women and girls are the main victims to harassment and abuse every day. Many other Papua New Guineans have lost their life at the same market. Women have been raped, harassed, so many thieving, pickpocketing and the rest goes on in that market. Meanwhile, NCD and Central Police Commander Jerry Frank said the current situation of the manpower of the police officers in NCD and Central is a big concern for security. 20 Pacific, 2015 Pacific gave us next year. The government of the day, <coughs> through uh, the Prime Minister, Peter O'Neill, your Dion government, the Minister for that sake, are, are now putting Papua New Guinea into the 2018 APEC that is coming on. We are going to be challenged. Security of this country is going to be challenged. The police for that matter, the legion agency, the defense force, CIS, people are brought us to by come. If the market is closed permanently, it will have a huge impact on the lives of people who highly depend on the informal sector. Moreover, petty crime is another issue that is ruining the country. And the closure of the market just might reduce the rate of criminal activities in the city, and especially the Gordon's Market area. Stanley Ovet Jr., National MTV News.